Hi, I'm JD Prepper. I'm the admin for Prep Like a Pro on Facebook. And one of the things that we like to do is teach people how to do things to prepare their food stores for long-term storage. Uh, we can do it two different ways. One of them is with a ball type canning jar, half gallon jar or quart jars. Uh, these are really excellent, but they're fragile. If you drop it, it's gonna break. Uh, and plus it costs money. The half gallon ones cost about $2. And then when you go to use it the next time, you got to buy yourself a new lid. Or you can do what a lot of people like to do is use two liter soda bottles. These are essentially free. You drink the soda. Normally these either go back for recycling or get thrown away. But we can use them to take and store food in. Um, very simple process and I'm going to show you how to take and adapt one of these bottles to do that with a simple thing like a turkey baster. All right, we went and bought a turkey baster. And one of the things that's important to do when you're buying one of these is to take a cap with you and see how well the cap fits in the top of the turkey baster. Uh, this one fits pretty well. It's a little snug, but that's really what we want because we're going to be pulling a vacuum on this. Uh, after you've got your turkey baster, you're going to need to put a hole in the top. And what you're going to do is take your uh, vacuum hose from your food saver and you're going to work out how big a drill bit is needed to take and drill the right hole for that. And it's very simple to do. You just line the drill bit up with the vacuum sealer tube. And in this case, it's 3 16 of an inch. Put that in your drill. Drill your hole in the top of the turkey baster, like so. And now you're good to go. So, now what you need to do is get your 2 liter bottle and we're going to have to modify the cap. And the reason we're modifying the cap is so we can pull a vacuum through it. And the way you do this is with a simple push pin. Just type and put uh, documents up on cork boards with. You take the push pin and you put a hole right through the top like so. good like so when you pull the pin out now you have a hole in the top which is what we want we're also going to take and put a piece of black electrical tape over the top of this and that's going to act like a flapper when you draw the vacuum it lets the air out when you release the vacuum it stops the air from going back in When you put the flapper on, you put the flapper on, you only put it on halfway, like so, and let the other end just stay open like that. Now it's time to fill the bottle with rice. I went to Walmart. And I bought a five uh, pound bag of plain white rice. It's about $2.50, give or take. Uh, not too terribly expensive. You can save money if you buy the big 25 and 50 pound sacks. But for this, we just want to do with a five pound. So I'm going to cut a corner off this bag, like so. Put my funnel in the two liter bottle. And let's proceed to get rice all over the kitchen. And one of the things we're going to do is halfway through is we're going to shake down the bottle. 
to get some of the air out and make the grains and rice fit together better. You get more in the bottle that way. About halfway full. Shake it down. And fill it up some more. We should be able to get about four pounds of rice in this bottle. As you can see, it's pretty much filled up to the top. When I shake it down, look how much it shrinks down. And that obviously gives you more room to store rice. And now we'll just fill it up. And there we go. <clears throat> So, now we've got our two liter bottle filled with rice. I'm going to take the cat that we've modified and put that on the bottle. Tighten it up real well. Let's take our modified turkey baster cat, put that over it. These can be a struggle because it's not a perfect fit. And there we go. Take the vacuum sealer hose, put that in the hole that we just drilled on top, and press the vacuum button on the uh, the food saver. I'm going to have to edit this a bit. And you can start to see the bottle caving in in spots where the air has been sucked out. Pull it out, take that off, and press the tape down, and this is now sealed. And I'm going to show you, one of the ways we know that it's sealed is that the little dimple on the top here, can you see that okay? The little dimple on the top has uh, gone in, indicating that the vacuum there has sucked the, the uh, tape in. So this 2-liter bottle is now sealed and ready to go with the storage. And how much rice did we get left over with? Get our handy dandy scale here. Just a little bit under a pound. So we've got a little bit over 4 pounds of rice in that 2-liter bottle. That cost us essentially nothing. And that's how you take a vacuum seal and use two liter bottles. After you've done your vacuum sealing, get your magic marker out, write rice, and today's date is 5-10-21. You can put that in storage now. 
If you have any questions, please leave some comments in the details below, and we'll get back to you. Thanks for viewing.